show. Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching, too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit, let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. Hey. in the middle. Want to have some fun? Some fun? Some fun? Some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. <laughs> Carol, I can't hardly wait. I wish I had a drink right now. <laughs> but the town is dry. <laughs> Carol, I can't hardly wait. I wish I had a drink right now, <laughs> but the town is dry. <laughs> Unfortunately, but that's okay. I, but you found a liquor store. Tell us about it. Well, I don't know if it's one there, but I assume Middlebury is where they said that you can get an aspirin. A uh, Middlebury? <laughs> if you get an aspirin in Middlebury, you might be able to get a beer. <laughs> No, we do like here. to drink. They have no drug stores here. So if you're looking to have a headache, don't come here. Because they have no aspirin. And if you're looking for some spirits, wine, don't come to Ships Wine. Get it before you come, like we did. <laughs> and put it in your cooler, because they will ask you to leave it at the desk. Oh, wow. they won't even let you bring it in. Oh, you that's right. They won't even let you. got to keep it in your car. Yeah. But isn't that something they do allow cigarette smoking outside of right. the hotels? Strange. That ship's wanna Amish and Mennonite country and others. <laughs> My With the others. Some people, before they join the church, they drive cars. Oh, okay. And once they join the church, they have to sell the car and drive a Oh, oh, really? No. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have many that are willing to do that? Yeah, there's a lot of them that yeah. actually do that, yeah. Bon appetit, let's eat. You're cooking with me and Miss Betty. Hey, Miss Betty. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. I can't either. But <laughs> and without a drink in two days, <laughs> damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, What's up? <laughs> Hello there. What's up today, my sister? Well, as you can see, I'm relaxing here at Yoder Department Store. I just went to the African gift shop, and my goodness, they were beautiful. Uh, not today. Natural nut I can't shells. afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way to South Haven. Well, I hear you got some suspenders. <laughs> yeah, and some railroad caps. Oh. Going back to my days since I'm the project maintenance coordinator, you know, I want to look like I'm a worker. <laughs> you know, they just asked me if you bought railroad caps. I said, no, she got a lot of them. <laughs> my sister wouldn't buy them, no more railroad caps. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Just I got like, one for you, too. Oh, that's so surprising. <laughs> you can help me. 
That's so nice. Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> I'm ready to go and have something to eat. I know, man. And, and th drink. This time, <laughs> you know this town is dry. You can't say drink out loud. It's got to be water. All right. What's up? <laughs> Right. Oh, no booze and, and ship swana. Lots of water. Thank God we bought 24 bottles of water. Right? Actually, we got more. Yep. I got some liters, too. Oh, great. So we, we need to be pouring some champagne in them <laughs> bottles of water. <laughs> okay, ship swana. We're having fun. Nice Amish place. style. No Amish love and Mennonite love. Yeah. Yes. I need a drink. Where's the dirty martini? Middlebury. <laughs> ten, miles ten, ten miles away. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna stop there. Bon appetit. Let's eat some fried chicken and mashed potatoes. On this time. delightful lunch oh, at Esperanza on our way to South Haven. It is so good. What? I've been enjoying it so much. In fact, I think I need to go and take a siesta. Yes. Well, Betty, look like we found another hip bar in South Haven. Yeah, this is be our another hideaway. This is the Black and Run. The Black, Tab Black River Tab. Well, we were coming for the uh, open mic, but uh, open mic isn't until Thursday, which we won't be here. <laughs> or will we be here? Another day, maybe, in South Haven. I'm having fun. Okay, we're down for another meal. We've ordered our Moscow mules, and they are so good. The mule in South Haven. <laughs> Here's the Italian bistro. You saw that. Hey, they got some long shirts, two for thirty dollars. What's props? <laughs> props? A lot of stuff. <laughs> props is a lot of stuff. So tell us a little bit about South Haven. What's the history behind it? Well, it has a very interesting history because it was um, a resort mainly for. Jewish people who wanted to have an opportunity to share and do things together as a community at large. In fact, it was three different religious sects. We had the conservative, and of course, uh, that was the original concept was to bring the conservative Jewish people together in a prayerful way and have entertainment. And then subsequently there was the uh, Orthodox Jewish who really put the uh, South Haven on the map because they started building resorts okay. and where they could just stay and, you know, as, as a community during the summer months, even in the winter. And then you have what you call your reformists those were the younger generation of Jewish young people, I should say, who were not as orthodox or not as conservative, and they liked to do a little, you know, more socializing. So it became also a fun place for intergenerational groups of Jews that were both conservative, orthodox, and reformists. Well, here we are in our lovely suite in South Haven. 
Oh, this is real nice. And we're just moving right along here. Can't wait to see all the lovely places that we're going to dine and eat in South Haven, Michigan. On a petite. We're on the road again in South Haven, Michigan. Yay. Spirits of South Haven. Betty, you sure know how to pick them. This is truly an adventure on a tugboat named Eloise. Elise. Elise. Oh, what's the name of it? Elise. This is definitely Elise. An Not Eloise. Elise. Elise. It's a tugboat. It's cute as it can be. 100% snail. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> yeah. I love these old balls. This is a tugboat. It doesn't go over the water. It goes. It goes side to side. Okay. Your Chris Crab goes. <laughs> well, being that we both are of the water, my sailing experience, and and then you can dive off right here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't off. think so. Uh, uh, uh. First mate. Sammy. Hey, Sammy. He's driving the boat, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us your name. My name's Bob. Yeah. Bob. And where are you girls from? Chicago. Yes, how many cups? Yeah. Uh, well, we've had the boat's been in the family for three generations. Wow. Uh, my grandfather had it built in 1945. He had it built for commercial fishing. Oh, uh, really? He fished with it, and my dad fished with it. And uh, about the time I would have started going out there, we're closing down the commercial fishing in oh, uh, okay. 1976. But I don't think it would have lasted too long. They go out in the ice and snow and have mm. my cup of tea. I like this a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is it always in South Haven? Yes, yep, yep. It's always right. been right here. Right here being either here or just around towards the bridge. I'm Kathy. <laughs> Kathy, you're the wife? Yep. Hi, and you said this is generational. Yep, three yeah. generations. Three yes. generations. Yeah. Well, my sister said we should do something odd and different. And I must say, <laughs> Thank this you. is odd and you, you different. You just wait. <laughs> oh, really? It gets better? Oh my God, I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. I tried to look for koozies for you, but... That's okay. We don't have I, don't, I don't even know what a koozie is. Uh, uh, something <laughs> to keep the beer cold. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the rubber little oh, chips I see. on the end Thank of you. the bottle. Thank they you. call them koozies. Uh, <laughs> so she said you have a TV show? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A little old cooking with Tittle show. It's cute. I do something. Keeps me out of trouble. Tip up, girl. Tip up. There you go.
Pinot Grigio hands down is my favorite dry. My favorite red is their Merlot. And I also really do like the Marquette. I mean, I love all of our wines, to be honest with you, but oh, my oh. palate prefers the Merlot yes. and the Pinot Grigio. Do you want to do a couple of okay. samples and walk out with a bottle, or do you want to do actually the five tastings for time? I'm definitely going to get a Cabernet Franc. Okay, but you can just have a little sample of the Franc and then get the bottle, or we can do the five tastings for $10. Let's see what she wants. Okay. Yeah, right now. No rush. Okay. <laughs> no rush at all. Either way. Yeah, and you get to keep the glass if you do decide to do the tasting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you're slowing up the progress here. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's all good. She wants to do, you tell her the deal here. So we have five tastings for $10, and you do get to keep the glass. Or we can give you a couple little um, free, free samples of some of the wines that you might want to walk out with a bottle with. It's up to you. Do you well, want to just do a couple of free ones? Yeah. Okay. So three free. So I know you want to try the Cab Franc. Yes. So which ones do you I'll want to try? I'll have the same one. Uh, well, you can share them. Okay. All right. Okay. Cab Pino Franc. Pinot Noir. Okay. So okay. Cab Franc, Pinot Noir. Oh, I see. Oh, those are little tastings. Yeah. Those are the little free ones. <laughs> That's different. A little cup. Pinot Well, it's, it's not an actual tasting. It's just like a little sample. Clementine's, the most famous restaurant in South Haven. That's right, they swear by it. <laughs> Overlooking the sunset, the golden time of day. Bon appetit, let's eat. Ah, oh, what a nice boat ride. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> a little puppy. All right, let's see what we're gonna eat. That was a nice appetite build up on the lake. Tip up, girl. Tip up. Tip up, girl. Tip up. There you go. It's time for a dirty martini. A Clementine. Mmm. Not bad. Oh, man. too dirty, doesn't it? Tito's vodka is good. <laughs> that's what the man okay. told me. He said, that's the best vodka. Oh. Tito. Man. Oh, we're still awake for the game. <laughs> Don't even say that. And nice stuff, blue cheese olives. Girl, look at that. It's dripping off the side. Mmm. Yum, yum. Delicious salad, a steak salad here. Mm -hmm. Tenderloin steak salad. And as you can see, we've enjoyed the soup very much. Martini is good. Think we should go for seconds? Not really, unless you're driving. Oh, I think I can do that. The question is, do I remember the way home? You'll find your way. Back to the hotel. The around the lake. Follow the river. The river, no, the lake. The lake. the lake. I'm thinking back in slavery days. Follow the river. <laughs> that saved us all. Butter goes with everything. Yeah, we found out. But the Amish, they love their butter. They had butter on the table. Like. Their butter, their bread was good. 
Yeah, a little bit desirable for the fried chicken, even though it was seasoned well, great cooks. But they only serve the thighs. <laughs> no leg, no wing, no breast. But we enjoyed it. The hospitality was sweat. And their hearts were so good. They're beautiful people too. Beautiful people. But man, we got to take them some real fried chicken. <laughs> I'm sure they hip to it. Well, we enjoyed the Amish way, and the dinner was yeah. great. Dinner was Mashed great. potatoes, chicken thigh. <laughs> Bread. It's so good. With garlic. And my coleslaw. Some more protein and carrots. Vitamin C. I'm gonna let you go to it, but I got fettuccine Alfredo chicken with all kind of vegetables, and uh, it seems so good, and it is good. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's another one. They give you lots of food. They give you lots of food here at Clementine. And it is the authentic food place in South Haven. Bon appetit, Leslie. I'm getting ready to get that. That's a real dirty one. I gotta get down and dirty. So I'm interested in trying to find my roots in Coburn, Michigan. Well, let's do that. Where do you want to start? Well, it was only five miles away from Alcott. Well, we I couldn't believe no, it. No, Coburn is five miles away from South Haven. Oh, that's what it was. I knew it was a sign I saw, and I said it's Coburn. It's between Bishop and Baker and South Haven. There's Coburn. Oh, God, we had so much fun on the farm. And Coburn is predominantly an African-American community. That's right. Which service South Haven, which was predominantly Jewish. Is that right? Anglo Saxon Protestants, white folks did not work for Jews. But black people were welcomed and embraced by Jews to come and work in their big business. Oh, I told you we used to go and get the bigger blueberries. We had earnings. And we picked the blueberries, right. and they were little blueberries, so we had to fill up a can. And it was like, we get $5. The thumb, thumb size blueberries. They were more pea size, like pea. They were more thumb size, so she used her thumb. So we would sneak over into the other yard, which was, oh God, this vineyard. It was beautiful, and they had these big, juicy, black blueberries, and blackberries, and we would fill up our cans with the bottom and then put the yeah. little ones on top. Well, bon appetit, let's eat. It's time for me to get down and dirty here and taste small plates and martinis. And is it good in South Haven? We're on the road again. So far, the soup is good. Waiting on that real dirty martini. In fact, they got a filthy martini and an extra dirty martini. And this time we got the onions with the blue cheese stuffed olives. Filthy dirty. Wow. It's good. It's very good. Now. The ultimate grilled cheese, tomato and bacon. My favorite sandwich. Mm. Mm -hmm. In South Haven. Bon appetit, let's eat, and let's go see some more sights. You're cooking with Tittle. Okay. We're at Karma Vista in uh, Waterford Lake, and uh, looks like uh, I'm going to have the Cabernet Funk. Not Funk, but Funk. Cabernet Funk. It's funky. 
It's funky good. Oh, good. I like that. That was good. I can take that home. Their big award winner. It's pretty good. Mm, Cote de Loma. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm, that's good. That was good, the Saran. I'll do a bottle of Saran too. Okay, okay, I've done the Saran. Okay. Uh, Saran and the Cha Cha. Okay, sounds good. Wonderful, thank you. <sighs> On to the next one. Oh yeah, wine tasting is so much fun in Coloma, Carma Vista. I'm here in my favorite place, Contessas, <laughs> in Coloma. Trey Denarius, mm -hmm. what does that mean? The three tenors, because it's three different grapes. It's Cab Sav, Merlot, and Cab Frog grapes. I think I'll have another bottle of this. Oh, wonderful.